I felt like doing a secular video today on boxing, so let's get into it. Lomachenko versus Devin Haney. Uh, we were one of the few people on YouTube that actually predicted Teofimo Lopez versus Lomachenko. Again, we never bandwagon on what, you know, boxing tries to push people to bandwagon, and Lomachenko was definitely a, you know, a fighter that um, covets bandwagoning, and uh, we never go with, um, popularity contest in boxing but needless to say Lomachenko he's very wary against people who are aggressive um, and he's very wary against punchers even the Salido fight you'll see that there's a pattern where he wasn't active like the first half of the fight same thing in the Teofimo Lopez uh, fight as well and then he tries to turn it on towards the end now this is one thing that could spell doom for uh, Devin Haney he still has a young man's mindset. Yes, he has a size advantage and things like that. Um, but he has not learned how to measure himself yet. Um, basically, he's a guy who likes to go hard for as long as he can. And you'll see that he starts to lose uh, energy as the fight goes on. And it makes him more susceptible to uh, damage and big shots later on in the fight. Uh, we've seen this in plenty of his fights. He needs to learn, like a Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather would bag the first three or four rounds. Then he'd take the middle rounds off, let his opponents explain to himself while he's recovering. But also, you know what I'm saying? He's just basically letting his opponents uh, get their, their licks off, you know what I'm saying? While he, again, is just basically toying them, uh, taking those rounds off and then he closes the fight he usually bags the championship rounds that's how a floyd fight typically goes uh again devin haney though he's a guy he goes hard from round one two three four five six seven and he starts to temper off towards the end so he puts his emphasis in the you know the first two thirds of the fight he still hasn't learned how to strategically uh like i said measure himself yet now lomachenko is a guy as we said You'll see the pattern when it's guys that he respects and guys that he kind of fears and, and takes serious. He's going to take that first half of the fight off. Again, you'll watch it in the Salido fight. You'll watch it in the Teofimo Lopez fight. Uh, he's not going to take much chances and things like that. And he builds his momentum as the fight goes on. Uh, this could spell disaster for Devin Haney, who once again is still young. Uh, now, for Devin Haney... Um, He's the bigger guy. He should, of course, use his reach. A lot of people, they really buy into that uh, acrobatic, you know, uh, Tony Hawk type trick style of, uh, of Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? They see him do all this crazy stuff and they think he's just great. At the end of the day, we always break fighters down to bare bone minimums. At the end of the day, uh, Lomachenko is a pressure fighter who has to close the distance. Sure, he does all this wizardry, cool trick bag type stuff, but at the end of the day, he has to look, close the gap because he is a shorter guy. Um, and then he has to get in close to be effective. So essentially, he's just a pressure fighter. Uh, people, they typically fall for all that trick bag stuff, the little tap, tap jabs and all that other crap. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, all Devin Haney has to do is keep his distance, fight like the bigger man. If that's going to be his approach, uh, Devin Haney doesn't have the power uh, really to hurt Lomachenko. Um, this is another thing about Lomachenko that a lot of people don't understand. His Achilles heel is his body. It's the same with Usyk, same with Bostic. Uh, those fighters, they all do the same thing. When you go to their body, they all used to complain to the ref for phantom low blows when they get hit to the body. It's one of these tricks that Anatoly has taught. It's a veteran move too, it's very smart. But Devin Haney, I haven't seen much of his body punching other than like mostly a jab. Uh, but if he really wants to get at Lomachenko, he's gonna have to learn maybe for this fight camp to practice his body punching. That is Lomachenko's Achilles Hill. Again, Devin Haney does not have the power to knock out Lomachenko. This is gonna go the distance if Devin Haney does win. But like I said, um, something that can spell disaster for Devin Haney is when he gets tired in later rounds and Lomachenko starts picking him back up, starts picking it up and starts going for broke. Uh, that can be very dangerous for Devin Haney and he can possibly get knocked out. Um, 
I'm going to choose Devin Haney, but like I said, it's not going to come to a surprise if Lomachenko does uh, pull off the victory in the later rounds when Devin Haney starts getting tired. Again, it's just maturity. Shakur Stiv Stevenson, you can already see he's a, you know, he's a, he's a tactician, tacticianer in that ring. And that's something that Devin Haney needs to work on. He needs to work on his tactics. Like I said, he goes all out first two thirds of the round and he starts to weather down with fatigue and things like that towards the end of the fight. Uh, that's a very good possibility for Lomachenko to actually pull this off, although everybody's trying to sell him short as an underdog and already not giving Devin Haney his credit if he fucking wins, which I find kind of pathetic, but that's what you do for guys like, you know, uh, I Lomachenko, a guy that the boxing world tries to hype up so much. Um, people need to understand this is a very young man in Devin Haney. Um, he should get credit for beating Lomachenko, especially when you guys try to hype Lomachenko up as, you know, <laughs> as this guy who was just, I, I don't know, could beat Floyd Mayweather and everybody else. But we always called it, um, we always kept it 100 on this channel. Uh, our predictions are always pretty accurate. But this is a fight of where it depends. And this one, the Teofimo Lopez, I knew he was going to win that fight. I know that uh, Lomachenko... You know, you're finally dealing with a fellow athlete, a fellow guy who can do backflips and things too, but a guy uh, who has a more practical fight style. It's the same thing here in Devin Haney. Uh, Lomachenko has to do this trip bag stuff to really be effective. And he gets guys flustered with mental pressure and things like that. But Devin Haney, all he has to do is keep his distance and let Lomachenko, as he closes the gap, just hit him with jabs and let him walk into punches. and. You know, maybe you'll get lucky and have him walk into a big uh, punch just like uh, Linares did against Lomachenko. Uh, again, people, they really get caught off guard with all the trip bag stuff that he does, all that cool whatever stuff uh, that distracts fighters with and things. They let it get themselves get flustered and things like that. But Lomachenko, at the end of the day, he has a very simple approach on how you have to fight him. Again, in this case, Devin Haney, you just got to fight like a tall man stay behind the jab uh later on in the fight maybe incorporate some feints and things like that get lomachenko to overshoot um uh, overreach or something like that and catch him with a big shot but again i know this is going to be a dramatic fight especially towards the later rounds and lomachenko will have a good chance at actually uh solidifying that win when he starts pushing on the on the gas pedal and uh, Anatoly and Lomachenko's game plan was always to drag opponents into deep waters. They've tried it with Salido. They tried it with Teofimo Lopez. Uh, it's a tactic that they always do, um, unless it's a flat-out bum that they know they're going to beat. Uh, but Lomachenko, he is going to be cautious in the early rounds. He's probably going to give up a lot of those rounds. Devin Haney should be up on the cards, but again, the fight's really going to start in the championship rounds. And... Lomachenko in this case, due to styles and things like that and just tendencies and patterns of these fighters, he actually has a very good chance of actually winning. I don't know if he's the underdog, but I'm even thinking about putting money on this fight uh, for Lomachenko uh, championship round stoppage. Um, it's a high probability in this fight just due to the styles and the tendencies of the fighters again. Uh, Teofimo Lopez I knew was going to be able to beat uh, Lomachenko. I knew that people overrated Lomachenko, but styles do make fights. This is stuff that people in today's boxing don't talk about. Um, and every, everyone's already assuming that Devin Haney is just going to win this fight because the whole Lomachenko hype has kind of died down and things like that. Uh, but this is a fight where their game plan actually does have give Lomachenko a pretty good chance to pull off the win, especially in the championship rounds. And it is going to go there, and that is when the drama is going to start. Uh, I'm still going to say uh, Devin Haney by uh, decision, if he can weather the storm that is going to come in the championship rounds. But it would not surprise me if Lomachenko is able to pull his victory off in the championship rounds. Again, Devin Haney, he's going to have to learn how to be a tactician, just like Shakur Stevenson, just like the Floyd Mayweathers. If that's the style that you want to pick and choose, it's a chess game. But Devin Haney, again, he has not learned how to measure himself yet. He still has that young man mindset. Um, you know, he still thinks that he can just pull through it with will every time. Uh, a lot of times, you know, Floyd Mayweather would say, you know, fight smarter, not harder. And you see that Shakur Stevenson has already adapted this as well. 
Um, Devin Haney, again, he kind of gets more stubborn too when he gets tired and more fatigued. He does get caught with bigger punches towards the end of the fight. Uh, defense and things, you know, like that, he gets hurt. We've seen it in a couple of fights. He has overcome it. Uh, but just like Fundora, as we saw this past weekend, uh, you know, will will only get you so far. You know, you can make your life a little bit easier uh, if you just play a little bit of uh, chess in there as well uh, with your checkers or whatever else you're going to do, not have to rely on your youth and just your will and your testosterone. Again, you can be a smart man about it as well and show some maturity in this fight. Um, again, I think uh, if he bags the first championship rounds, which he mo more than likely will do, uh, Lomachenko will try to probably steal the rounds, uh, you know, towards the end of the fights when he knows he's down and he's got to do something. There's always that chance as well. But Devin Haney should net the early rounds, uh, middle rounds, uh, when Lomachenko is going to start picking up around six, round six or seven. Again, uh, take your time, man. There's no need to just go down there and blow your load like a young man. Uh, take it nice and slow. Uh, recover. Get a little bit of fatigue, let Lomachenko uh, punch himself out a little bit. Um, they're going to act like, I don't know, commentary, everything's going to be biased for Lomachenko. We already know that right now. He's a house fighter. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, but Devin Haney, just during those middle rounds, take your breath. You know what I'm saying? Catch your breath. Then in the championship rounds, go back to a style that's going to, you know, again, uh, you're going to use your size and distance, let Lomachenko walk into punches. When he starts throwing his flurries, combinations, things like that, get out of there, rinse, wash, repeat. Again, Lomachenko, he has short arms and things like that. He always has to close the distance. So, yeah, you're seeing him do all this trick bag, trickster stuff that you see from like a video game and shit. But uh, again, uh, keep it nice and simple. You know, keep it basic. <laughs> keep it from point A to point B type thing. Uh, let him, when he closes the distance, he has to come in a straight line. Doing any kind of sideways movement is not going to help him. So, you know, you can keep this a conventional safe fight, but, you know, be smart about it. But again, it, the way I see it, it the drama is going to occur in the later rounds. Uh, I can already see controversy like Devin Haney, Rob Lomachenko or some type of crap like that. Devin Haney should win. But again, it would not surprise me if Lomachenko is able to pull it off in the later rounds. We will talk to you guys later. Come out with some more videos. Bye.